When our girls walk through our doors, they're not only walking into a school, they're walking into a family. That's who we are. This is what we do every day. We establish our bonds so that they know that their voice will be heard, that they will be valued, that they matter in what we try to stay consistent. So. When I first came in here and I was about six months pregnant, I would say. And I was still in denial. I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. I'm fine. Being in your village, it helped me like communicate, learn about my mistakes, learn about myself, learn what I really want to do. Well, I started New Village in my sophomore year, but before that I was pregnant. I was pregnant, at, I got pregnant at 14, um, and that was a very traumatic experience for me because I feel like I faced so many obstacles being pregnant. But I knew one thing, and that was that I had to get an education because I didn't want to be a parent that's constantly working a nine to five job and not being able to spend time with their child. And I owed that to my son. Even though I was really young, I knew I was gonna figure it out. I've never had teachers that cared so much about students. For big picture learning, you really get to see that the history has brought you to where you are at this point. And this is, these are the tools that you've had given to you and how do you use those tools to then apply it to your future career or your project or if you decide like, I'm not happy with this history, how do you change it? One of the goals that we really want the girls to accomplish is the ability for them to advocate for themselves, the ability for them to have a voice, to understand their voice, to hear how powerful it is, and to let that voice guide them in making informed decisions. There was just things that I never thought I was capable of doing until I came to New Village because of the project-based learning. I was learning about something that I wanted to learn about. I was doing something that I know I can actually put all my effort because it was going to be my work. In my first day of class, I was asking so many questions. Like questions that was like, okay, we'll get to that, we'll hold on. But that's how excited I was. It's not your ordinary science class. Like I had mentioned, like it's just more of a hands-on thing. Yeah, you do take notes, and they talk to you so well. Uh, not other science teachers I've had before have been this good with this. It makes me want to come to school even more. Knowing I'm not taking a science class at school is going to be at a science center. That's like, to me, it's awesome. The one-on-one -on -one, like, connection you guys have, it's like, I, that's what I love about it. When I found out about getting accepted to Channel Islands, I was overwhelmed. Not just that, but I got into the major I wanted to, which is biology. I was like starstruck, basically. I was like, I got in. They're not measured anymore? Cut it in about right. Wait, 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 don't move it. Hold up. Stretch it out. Stretch it, stretch it. Stretch it. Stretch it. It's all about teamwork, guys. Oh, no, I'm gonna be the first one to graduate from my family. And like, um, be the first one to go to college. Stretch it, stretch it. Okay. <laughs> I take it. So that's the So the question for today was how does light traverse the universe to get to us in the first place? How does it do that? Why doesn't it just stay enveloped around the star that produces it? And it's because it's a radiation and it moves through space at a certain speed. Um, everything that light touches leaves its imprint and its signature on, on the light. And if you can understand how to read the wavelengths, that's the secret. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Just you. No. Everybody on this side, please push them in. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Well, do it carefully. Not too much. And so we're always trying to uh, 
give them a, a mathematical reference or a mathematical anchor for something that's real in the physical universe, because that's what science is really all about. It's about measurement. Dang, y'all done messed up in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> We have meditation, which is really cool because sometimes we need like to rest our brains for a little while, and that's very helpful. Before I came here, I was very, very disrespectful, and now I'm more calm and collected and respectful. <laughs> Having mindfulness here on campus definitely gives the students the opportunity to reset and to focus. So the fact that we have mindfulness or meditation uh, two times a day, I think they're strategically placed and they're almost like pressure valves, uh, which allow the students to relax their mind and body. My mentor is Ann Noble and I've been working with her for almost two years now. She's amazing. Um, she's taught me how to like write and express myself in a more creative way than a more destructive way. She's helped me through all of it, like writing it out, putting it into a play or a poem. The one thing that excited me the most was performing my own play. Yes, and I think we get that. <laughs> I wanted to be able to tell people that it's okay to be who you are, even when you have issues and problems, as society puts it. When I first came to New Village, I honestly did not know what I wanted to major in. And then when I started getting into art and stuff like that with those internships, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just be um, just an artist or something. But then I started getting into animation. But I've always been into animation, but I started to get more in depth with it. So I either want to apply to Cal Arts, which is a major art school, and apply for the animation program. But if that doesn't work out, uh, I'm planning to do computer science and minor in like graphic design or illustration. I just know that I am going to be successful and I'm going to try my hardest to be what I want to be. Currently we're part of this um, competition with, that's partnered with Toyota and we had to make a little RC car because we finished like the technical part of like how the car works and stuff like that. Exactly. So that means we've spent the battery. I have, my internship is Ola, the heart of Los Angeles, which I work with Federico and Abraham. Right now we're working on a hydrogen car. So that means the lithium. Then we have to go to the competition. Ideally, what we're creating here in this makerspace is, is of and for the girls. And I think having been with this program now for almost uh, two years, I think the goal of having it slowly spread to other girls that they can do this, like it's showing. It's not about who wins, who goes fast is the winner. It's basically if you have the time, like basically the, if you have the power, if your power lasts that long. I think it's rare for students in schools to actually be asked like what is your interest, what is your passion, what is something that you want to pursue in life and when you give them that opportunity the student gets more motivated, they get more passionate about pursuing um, their interests and they're actually generally invested in the learning. Internships are a vital part of what we do here at New Village. Through our different partnerships with our community we're able to allow our girls the experiences that they need in order to pursue those interests and those passions so that they're successful once they choose to pursue a career or a job after New Village. When I first started here at New Village, my first internship was with Reading Partners. From Reading Partners, I moved on to photography. I got to go out to the city and explore like all over Los Angeles, just kind of inspired me more to keep taking on pictures. I went on with the Getty. I got to work on a project that got to be exhibited. And while working on that project, 
A curator from the Getty came in and she chose one of my photos to be kind of like the cover, I would say. <laughs> and that just really like inspired me more and kind of pushed me more to keep going on with photography and maybe not look at it as just a hobby, but um, maybe as a career too. I think how I see myself in the future is probably like, let's say 10 years. I would probably be graduating from college because if I want to go to med school, I'm going to be in college for like, what, 12, 10 years. If you're passionate about your education and you always want to keep feeding your mind, I feel like you never want to stop learning more. What we're doing is we're ensuring that they understand that they have the power in their hands and that power comes in the form of education. Being at New Village just taught me so much, like, so much that I can take with me to college and so many experiences, like project-based learning, exhibitions, everything that prepared me to be in a college classroom. Each of us have our own mission and we, we make it, like, we make it happen our own way because not everyone is the same. Not everyone learns the same. Not everyone will have the same knowledge and we will always learn from others. I still keep in contact with my advisor. Um, she's still an advisor to me because if I need advice, she's there to help me. I can talk to her about anything and it's like I see her as a second mom and I know that if I ever need anything, she'll be there for me. You can achieve and succeed in anything you put your mind to. Something I would say to my old self, never stop learning.